On August 19th, Russia's unmanned Luna 25 spacecraft got out of control and crashed into the moon. What caused the failure of Russia's first moon mission in almost 50 years? But most importantly, after this failed attempt, where does Russia stand at the new space race? Emerging in 2012 after the Phobos grunt setback, the ambitious Luna 25 mission took center stage in Russia's planetary exploration efforts. While primarily promoted as a planetary landing endeavor, Luna 25 also held the potential to conduct water ice exploration, a critical pursuit in modern planetary science. In 2013, the mission was started to be named as Luna 25, an indication that it's connected to the earlier Soviet lunar programs. The task of constructing the new device was assigned to the Lavochkin Scientific and Production Association, a company with a history of building Soviet lunar orbiters and landers. Meanwhile, the scientific payload was entrusted to the Space Research Institute. Despite the great achievements of the previous Luna missions of Soviet space program, Luna 25 is a relatively simple spacecraft. Weighing in at 615 kilograms excluding fuel, its scientific instruments contribute just 30 kilograms to its mass. These instruments are concentrated in the upper section of the device. The lower section of the spacecraft houses various components, including the propulsion system, fuel tanks, shock absorbing supports, as well as portions of communication system antennas and scientific instruments. Electricity for onboard equipment will be supplied by four solar panels. These panels are configured differently than typical landers. Instead of being horizontally positioned, as in equatorial landers, they are vertically installed due to the specific conditions of Luna 25's landing site. The spacecraft is outfitted with eight cameras, four wide-angle cameras for panoramic landscape shots, two narrow-angle stereo cameras for observing the tool's work area and managing soil operations, and two cameras on the propulsion system bracket to capture the moon's surface during descent and landing. Initially scheduled for launch in 2014, Luna 25 faced a series of delays due to various reasons. The most significant setback, however, came when a malfunction was identified in the Doppler Speed and Range Meter DISDLR, during testing. As a crucial component of the soft landing system, the accuracy of this device was essential, and any shortcomings could jeopardize the mission. Subsequent extensive testing and software adjustments for DISDLR resulted in a considerable delay of nearly two years, ultimately shifting the launch date from 2021 to 2023. Due to these challenges, Luna 25 was set to embark on its lunar journey in August 2023, marking a 47-year gap since Luna 24's mission. Interestingly, Roscosmos chose to keep the specific launch date confidential until August 7th, without disclosing the reasons behind this decision. Luna 25 aimed to explore the moon and search for water ice, in addition to collecting soil samples and conducting analyses to determine its composition. Luna 25's mission objectives include studying the upper surface layer around the moon's south pole, analyzing the lunar exosphere, and advancing landing and soil sampling technologies. Until recently, both Roscosmos leadership and the spacecraft developers openly acknowledged that the primary focus of the mission would be to refine fundamental soft landing technologies. If Luna 25 executed a successful landing, its operational duration would be minimum one year. The launch took place from the newly established Vostokny Cosmodrome in eastern Russia on August 11th at 8.10 a.m. local time, which corresponds to August 10th at 23.10 universal time. Luna 25 was poised to make history by attempting to become the first spacecraft to land on the moon's south pole. The anticipated landing window was set between August 21st and 23. Interestingly, India's Chandrayaan-3, launched on July 14th, also seek to achieve the same feat with an expected landing between August 23rd and 24th. This timeline created a competition between the two missions to achieve this significant milestone. Despite the competitive aspect, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, extended congratulations to Roscosmos. In a tweet, ISRO stated, Congratulations Roscosmos on the successful launch of Luna 25. Wonderful to have another meeting point in our space journeys. After the successful launch, Luna 25 headed towards the moon. Both previous Luna missions and the crewed U.S. Apollo program primarily concentrated around the equator, but this mission's aim was the moon's poles. In a few days, Luna 25 transmitted its initial images back to Earth. Snapshots of both Earth and the moon were captured in these images. On August 16th, Luna 25 broke a record by entering moon's orbit in five days and started to make progress in research. However, on August 19th, things started to go wrong 
Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, announced that the spacecraft encountered unspecified difficulties during its attempt to enter a pre-landing orbit. Eventually, Luna 25 underwent an unexpected and swift landing. Shortly afterward, Roscosmos revealed that issues had emerged during the maneuver. Then the announcement stated that Luna 25 had crashed onto the lunar surface, following its transition into an uncontrolled orbit. On August 20th, after several hours of trying to establish communication with the spacecraft, Roscosmos concluded that it had been lost and a commission was formed to investigate the crash. NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter has captured an image of a newly formed crater on the moon's surface that is believed to be the impact site of Russia's Luna 25 mission. The new crater's diameter is about 10 meters. Roscosmos chief Yuri Borisov said the main cause of Luna 25's failure is interrupting the country's lunar program for almost half a century. The valuable experience gained by the Soviet scientists during the 1960s and 1970s was lost during the hiatus. As Russia's aim to land Luna 25 on August 21st, desirably few days earlier than India's spacecraft, end in the crash of the spaceship, the Indian Space Research Organization achieved a successful landing of its Chandrayaan-3 probe near the moon's south pole. This accomplishment marked India as the first nation to achieve a successful landing in that part of the moon. Unlike Russia's current space exploration attempts, the Soviet space program played a pioneering role in numerous facets of space exploration in the last century. From launching the first human, Yuri Gagarin, into space in 1961, to achieving the first successful soft landing on the moon with Luna 9 in 1966. They also initiated the first woman in space, Valentina Tereshkova, in 1963, and accomplished the first spacewalk by Alexei Arkhipovich Leonov in 1965. The Soviet Union's contributions significantly shaped the course of space exploration history. Luna 24 was the 24th mission within the Luna series of spacecraft, and it marked the third Soviet mission dedicated to bringing back lunar soil samples from the moon. Luna 24 marked the final lunar sample return mission for over 44 years until China's Chang'e 5 mission in December 2020. Despite the crash of its Luna 25 spacecraft, Russia is likely to continue being a significant partner for China in constructing a lunar base. However, this setback could potentially allow the US-led Artemis program to make progress with its own lunar base project independently. As Russia's era of Cold War greatness, marked by its competitive race against the United States to dominate space, fades into obscurity, emerging contenders are claiming their stake in the arena. India, currently basking in the glow of Chandrayaan 3's achievement, and China, with its U-22 rover investigating the far side of the moon and proposing a collaborative lunar base, are among the new players. In the past, the space race's tone centered around showcasing individual achievements. Nowadays, the focus has shifted to inviting participation in grand, impactful endeavors. Currently, over 70 countries are actively engaged in space programs and collaborative efforts. This year, the African Union established its own regional space agency. Saudi Arabia initiated an astronaut training program in September last year. Thailand's fledgling space program is expanding its capability to construct satellites. While the United Arab Emirates Mars mission probe continues to share data, the nation aims to extend its reach to the asteroid belt. Despite the setback of Luna 25, Roscosmos remains steadfast in its dedication to lunar exploration. The upcoming Luna 26, Luna 27, and Luna 28 missions are poised to continue Russia's ambitious lunar program. These missions not only build upon the scientific insights from previous lunar ventures, but also underscore Russia's unwavering commitment to pushing forward with space exploration on the moon. The Luna 26 mission, also referred to as Luna Resurs Orbiter, is anticipated to launch in 2027. Its primary focus encompasses the comprehensive study of the lunar surface and its surroundings. Although it is said that the new space race is all about taking humanity further and becoming a multi-planetary species, competition alongside cooperation is inevitable. What do you think about Russia's position in the new space race? Let us know in the comments section. If you want to know more about countries' interesting political moves, you might like to check out this video as well.